Ay, no sé qué. Me voy para Japón. Ay, no, no puede ser. ¿Y eso? Me invitó para nuestro honeymoon. Me voy hoy. Ay, no, no puede ser. No te creo. De verdad. Está en mi Instagram y todo. Ay, no, no puede ser. Eres loca. Ay. My mother's so proud of me. Hello there, it's me, Natalie. And if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I went to Japan with my husband, Dennis, on our honeymoon. Well, I'd like to confess that it wasn't actually Japan. It was Japan and Epcot at Disney World. So this video was inspired by how deceiving social media can be. We pretty much have the power to mold ourselves into the grandest, most put together version of the life that we desire, that we want. So a huge shout out to Yes Theory on the viral, very much fabricated Justin Bieber burrito photo. And for Otra Pasveñas for faking a trip to China and being the inspiration for this video. I wanted to take on her challenge, so I'm gonna link their videos down below. You guys should really check them out. So how did I manage to fake my trip to Japan? Then I actually came up with a plan to set up a whole thing around our honeymoon. Dennis and I, we've been married for a year. We still haven't gone on our honeymoon. I thought it'd be like the perfect plan to be like, okay, this is why we're gonna be leaving to Japan. And Dennis is gonna surprise me, but really I'm the master plan behind all this. So it is minutes before we actually announce on Instagram and social media that we're gonna be leaving to Japan. I have a full on script for this because I can't mess up. Dennis just created some fake boarding pass and we actually ended up getting an actual flight that was leaving the following day to Japan. So it says we I'm depart scared. at 7.42. 7.42. Two. Oh shoot, tomorrow? We have to wake up that early? I guess. We don't really have to pack anything. I mean, we can just go. I'm gonna pack a pillow. Are you ready to go to Japan? So the idea was to split this up into two. Dennis would go on his Instagram. And okay, go. Prep the tears. Expose me right here. <laughs> Make sure you haven't posted okay. anything. Okay, mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> now, he's been a little bit stressed out recently, which is completely fine. You know, it's normal to be stressed, but we haven't been on our honeymoon. Right, like period. We've been married for a year and haven't been on it. So I'm to her within the next couple hours. So bad for your followers. The camera looks terrible. Beautiful roses. I bought myself. Here, handsome cake. This is what you're gonna give me. Wow, you already look so romantic. It's a little fatty right there. Probably like your first post in like over a month. Sure. You're so inactive on Instagram. Yo, follow me. <laughs> So you're gonna ask, guess where we are going? It's ridiculous. ridiculous. It's not about the tickets, it's about me. God, maybe I should be like crying. Hi, ASMR. Well, you don't have ASMR voice. That's a shitty thing. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> The most cheesy picture ever. <laughs> Right, right? That's the one. Step two was for me to react, okay? So this was actually so difficult to do. I'm going over what I have to say. I'm supposed to be like emotional and I'm supposed to be like, oh my God, you guys. Like in my eyes, I've never been inauthentic to you guys. Like I always tell you guys the truth. So this is like my first little like little lie to you. Like I've pranked other people, but I've never actually pranked you guys. <laughs> Loser. So I'm gonna put tears in my eyes. You can just use like eye drops. You look like a mess. <laughs> Yeah. You totally exposed us. <laughs> oh my God, I'm shook right now. No, no, no. No one uses the word shook in real life, except Karina. She does. I just do a picture. And I'm yes, like, much better. Wait, how should I do the picture? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Go to. It was just ridiculous. I had to do it so many times so that it sounded a little bit natural. <laughs> Dennis just surprised me to tickets to Japan for our honeymoon, and we leave to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. <laughs> Back now at the comments, like, I'm just so embarrassed. As soon as I announced it, I got an overwhelming amount of love, obviously from you guys on my Instagram through my DM. I'm ready to live vicariously through you. Have fun. Oh my God, Veronica, I'm so sorry I lied to you. Karina Garcia, I'm so sorry I lied. Mimi, icon, have an amazing time. Thank you, I'm sorry. Leave from America. Can't wait to see what you guys are up to. Oh my God, Amanda. We are going to pack. But obviously, because we were gonna go to Japan, we had to pack, so I did a little boomerang of Dennis. And we're packed! To Japan! <laughs> what would I wear to Japan? Why? <laughs> Social is big in Japan. We're only gonna be there for a day, right? Oh shoot, or should we take 
more outfits. For 48 hours. <laughs> Imagine faking a whole month. Oh of <laughs> so the day of our flight, the following day, Dennis and I actually woke up super duper late. So we woke up super late. We got an Insta story and I have to say that I missed my flight because I couldn't find my passport and I'm getting the next flight out of here. So my parents had no idea about this trip to Japan. I hadn't told them that it was for a video. I hadn't even told them obviously that I was going. So I needed to surprise them. So I ended up taking Jupiter over to my parents' house. Unfortunately, they were not there. I ended up FaceTiming my mom and kind of just telling her the big surprise. Mom's calling. Hello. Hola, chinis. Ay, no sé qué. Me voy para Japón. Ay, no, no puede ser. ¿Y eso? Me invitó para nuestro honeymoon. Me voy hoy. Ay, no, no puede ser. No te creo. De verdad. Está en mi Instagram y todo. My mama was freaking out and she was like not even happy for me at this point. Ay, no, no puede ser. Eres loca. Mamá. La llamo cuando ya está en el aeropuerto, ¿ok? Hi, my mother's so proud of me. So while everybody thought we were on an airplane for the next 13 hours, we were really just doing this and a little bit of this and this and this. It was pretty awesome. 13 hour flight awaits us, which means I cannot be on social media for the next 13 hours. So it's gonna be a really nice detox cleanse. In those 13 hours, Dennis and I will actually be at Epcot having the time of our lives. So I live in Florida and we actually have a theme park at Disney World called Epcot, which features 11 different countries from all over the world. So I thought going there would be a better way to kind of like fake my way into Japan since there's already so much culture. But little did I know it was gonna be a lot tougher than I thought. Dennis, next to the biggest ball in the whole world. We're on a boat right away. <laughs> or across the lake. <laughs> It was overwhelming. Boys to Men was like performing something. Also, right next to the temple, there was like this really cute spot that Dennis found, which had like a bunch of pretty trees around it, and the temple was right behind it. When I looked it up online, I was just like, this don't look the same. There was several other people trying to take pictures there too. <laughs> and there was also this very aggressive ninja Japanese squirrel. On my case right now, what the? It's just sad. Real sad. We ended up trying a ton of stuff. Like all we did that day is just take a bunch of pictures, but honestly, it just looks so fake that I didn't even end up posting it because I was like, oh my God, people are just immediately, they're gonna find out that this isn't real. You know, plan B was for us to go into the little Japanese markets and purchase a bunch of food, drinks, snacks, candy, teddy bears, little toys, anything that we could work with. I even like purchased like some clothing, so much stuff. I mean, it was literally $200 worth of Japanese goods. The very next day, I actually ended up going to my sister's house to use her home as my Airbnb because you know, we needed a place to stay. We needed a place to stage the next few pictures. And the idea here was that I had just arrived from Japan. It was super late at night now. My sister actually helped me stage the room as if it was like kind of an Airbnb. So something Dennis had to be really cautious of is those plugs because supposedly they're not like the ones in Japan. So I'm trying to use this little guy to cover that because I know I'm gonna insta story that way. Woo, and now the real stuff was about to begin. Hello you guys, I just met. Hello you guys, I'm in Japan. Oh my God, it is so beautiful here. Clearly, look at these bags right now. I have major jet lag and the hostess here is so sweet. Look at all the snacks that she left us. We're so happy, but we really gotta get some rest because tomorrow, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Clearly, look at these bags right now. I have major jet lag. Hello, you guys. I'm you. Be roaming around and looking at the beautiful. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> oh my god, it is so beautiful here. You don't believe it. Should I do boring? Probably. Oh my god, wait a second. What? It says potato chips. Where? Right here. <laughs> Dude, that probably wouldn't be a thing, right? I don't know. I've never been to Japan. <laughs> Why don't you Show do me. something more like this? Help, please help me. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, in Japan. Jupiter's in Japan. My mom is in Japan. <laughs> I'm I was trying to block out all my lies, okay? And I actually ended up reshooting <laughs> Shooting content for the post that I was gonna post on my Instagram. Reshooting a few things. We were in the car, we kind of took out our passports, we did a few cute pictures there. <laughs> the 
again. I hate kissing pictures. <laughs> because I was just not content with what I had gotten over at Epcot. I mean, and then we also ended up going into the Airbnb in my sister's room and kind of just taking a little nice soda and posing with it and just being like all cute like that, whatever. It was tough, truly. Instagram pictures are tough to take. I mean, every time I posted something, I was cringing. I was like, oh my God, why am I doing this challenge again? Like why? Like what? I hope you guys enjoyed this little social experiment. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you can forgive me. If you are not a part of the family already, I invite you to subscribe to this channel right here and turning on post notifications so that YouTube notifies you every time I upload. My social media handles are appearing right here on screen or they'll be linked down below in the description. If I'm not here on YouTube, I'm always connecting with you guys through Instagram, through Twitter, so definitely follow me on there. Send me a little DM on there. Don't forget to live weird or die normal and I'm sorry if I got you, if I fooled you. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!